Six years ago, Drimna Castle, which dates from Norman times, was in a state of disrepair. Then Antashka and other groups started off a campaign to restore the building. Boss trainees and voluntary workers joined forces in an effort to bring the castle back to its former glory. More than 200 people were involved and the money came from the EC and business donations. Today the long hours of toil were seen to bear fruit as the president made her way through the crowds to open the castle. Those involved in the restoration are fulsome in their praise of the building as a representative structure of its period. It's the only authentic medieval castle in the Dublin area, uh, especially because it has one that it's, it has a moat around it, which is a unique feature in Ireland, and it has been restored as an authentic medieval castle with its oak roof and cut stone and windows and floor, etc. So. One of the main features of the castle at Grimna is the formal garden, which has been painstakingly constructed in the spirit of the 17th century. It's a very formal layout and it has a limited palette of colours. The colours would be grey and greens and no other. Very few flowers will be coming in, just the lavender and Santorini will be flowering in springtime. Uh, what was the purpose of this kind of garden when these uh, castles were built first? It portrayed the control that man had over the plants. The restoration of the castle is not yet completed. The interior of the building still needs more work. It features newly crafted woodwork, including sculpted figures, and the castle's restoration committee is hoping for more support now to finish off the job. <laughs>